how to highlight the entire row in Excel whenever a criteria is matched. This is what we're gonna see in today's video. And as you guys can see, whenever I change here the value, all the rows that match with this criteria we will automatically be highlighted with this headish color. And of course, you can choose the criteria that you want to use and the color that you want to use. So let's go and find out how can we do it. The first thing that we need to create this automatically highlight in Excel is to have a data set. Here, my data set is all about uh, some students' grades, for example. Here I have the student name, the ID, the class, but of course, you can use your own data set. You don't need to use the same example that I'm using here. You can use your own data set. And then I have here the absence, the, the grade in the, in the test one, two, three, and four, and the final grade. Whether or not to highlight uh, an entire row, for example, I'm gonna use the column D, the absences. So, let's say, if a student uh, got a number of absences that is greater than or equal to six, for example, so I want to highlight all these students that got that match with this criteria, okay? So I can use this criteria here, but you can use your own criteria. You can use whatever column that you want to use as the criteria, so the absence, the test, the final grade, and so on and so on. But here, as I want to use the absence as the criteria, I need to select all the values that make up my absence column. So I'm gonna select here everything but the headers, okay? So I will not select the headers. Okay, I will select here everything, and then I can go to the Home tab. Here to the right now, I can click in Condition Formatting, and I can select here this option, New Rule. Here I can create my own condition formatting rule. Use your formula to determine which cells to format. I'm gonna stick with this option. And here in this formula bar, I'm gonna type it in. Equal sign if this first absence right here, this first value, if this value is equal to, let's say, this value right here, I want to highlight the entire row with a headish color, for example. But maybe here, I don't want to highlight just the values that is equal to that value that with my criteria. Maybe it's a good idea to highlight all the values that are greater than or equal to my criteria. To do it, I can use these symbols, these two symbols right here. So instead of using the equal sign, I'm gonna use greater than and equal to. And one more important step here, this second dollar sign here, I need to read it off, this dollar sign because I want to apply this condition format to all the rows that I have in my spreadsheet. Okay, I'm done here, but the last step is to click in format and choose the format that we're gonna use here. I don't want you to use any numbers, font, borders, but I'm gonna stick with fill. I want you paint to highlight with a, a red color, for example, or a green one, a yellow one, a blue one, and so on and so on. I'm gonna click here more colors because now I have access to more colors. I'm gonna choose here a standard, and I'm gonna select a red one like this, maybe. Okay, 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 and then okay. As you guys can see, we are almost done. Why I said almost? Because we already highlighted here all the cells that match with our criteria, but we need to highlight the entire row instead of just one specific cell. But anyway, it's already working. We just need to increase the range of the highlight, for example. But it's already working here. Let's make a uh, uh, change here in the criteria. Instead of using six, I'm gonna use eight, enter, and yeah, it's working. But let's make some changes here and make the condition format highlight the entire row instead of just one specific cell. To do it, I can come back here to the Home tab and then Condition Formatting, Manage Rules. And instead of using Current Selection, I'm gonna use this worksheet. That way we can see all the conditions formatting that we are using in this specific worksheet. To increase the range, we can change it here, applies to. I can select everything here within this bar and read it off, delete it. Now I can click here in this upper arrow and now I'm gonna select everything where I want to apply this condition formatting, this highlighting. I'll not select here the headers because I don't want to highlight the headers. So I'm gonna select everything but the headers, okay? so. I'm gonna start here with the second row. I'm gonna select everything from the second row up to the last row, like this, down arrow, and then okay, and we're done. So this is how we can highlight an entire row in Excel using condition format. And whenever you change here your criteria, so let's say absences, I want you to highlight all the students that got more than five or equal to five in absence, enter, and here we got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next ones, let me know, comment down below, and i see you tomorrow.